Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to assign roles on Facebook Business Manager. Sometimes, there is so much to do in so little time. Because of this, we need to hire somebody. With the help of Facebook Business Manager, we can assign somebody to do stuff for us. Facebook launched Business Manager to help companies manage and organize their Facebook pages and advertising accounts without being tied only to an individual personal account. For you who don't know what Facebook Manager is, it's a free tool developed by Facebook to allow businesses and agencies to securely manage their company's pages and ad accounts. They work in one place without sharing login information or being connected to their co-workers on Facebook. So you can totally keep work and your life separate with Facebook Business Manager. But what we're going to discuss today is about the user permission on Facebook Business Manager. This is like hiring an employee to work for you. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. To assign roles on Facebook Business Manager, you need to sign into your Facebook account first. Then, access the Facebook Business Manager by clicking the drop down located on the top right of the page. Then, select the Business Manager account. Once you're on the Facebook Business Manager page, click the Business Settings button or the Settings cog to access Business Settings. If you're the admin, you'll be directed to the People section. This is where you can add another person to work for you. Click the Add button in line with the title and you'll be directed to the Invite People wizard. Enter the email address given. You can add multiple accounts or multiple email addresses. For now, let's just add one. Assign the business role by ticking the appropriate access. By default, the invited user will be given the employee access. Assign the admin access at your own risk, for admins have access to all of your business settings, accounts, and tools. Just so you know, there are additional roles. You can view this by clicking the Assign Additional Role. The two additional roles are the Finance Analyst and the Finance Editor. The difference is in the description. After you assign the appropriate business role, click the Next button. The next page is the Assign Access, and this is where you can assign the roles of each specific pages, ad accounts, or catalogs. Under the Page section, this is where you can assign the page you want your employee to manage. You can simply assign multiple pages, ad accounts, catalogs, and different roles. Tick the appropriate page and select the role on the drop-down menu in line with the selected page name. This goes the same with the ad accounts and the catalogs. For now, I just want to assign my employee one page and I want him to be a moderator of that page. Once everything is set up, click the invite button below and the invitation will be sent. As you notice, the invitation sent prompt gives you a little summary. Select the Done button to close the invitation prompt and go back to the Business Settings page. The invited user will show up in the People section and has a pending status for we're waiting for him to accept the invite. The invited user will receive the invitation email almost immediately and this is the example of the invitation email. After the invited user has accepted the email, the pending status will be removed and the email address will be replaced with the name of the person. When the time comes that you notice that your employee is more capable than handling a couple of accounts, you can still assign additional roles. To assign additional roles on Facebook Business Manager, click the name of the person you want to assign additional roles in the People section. On the Details area, click the Assign Assets button located on the left side of the page. A pop-up window will show up and select the type of asset you want to assign. Select the pages, ad accounts, or catalog that you want to assign as well. 
Then, select the role that you want to designate in line with the selected page. Once you have finalized everything, click the Save Changes button to confirm. You will notice that the newly assigned pages are highlighted in mint green. Just so you know that you can check the history of the activity of the account by clicking the View History link located on the top right. You can easily change the page rules on the assigned pages by selecting the icons in line with the page name. You can also easily email your employee by clicking the icon below the Remove link. If you want to remove the employee, you can easily do that by clicking the Remove link and confirm it by clicking the Remove button. The employee's name will be removed immediately. So that is all that you need to know about assigning roles on Facebook Business Manager. And I appreciate you staying with me in this tutorial. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilation of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon.